Here we have a very nice looking at 2008 Audi S5 Coupe. It's the V8. Very nice looking car and it's in nice condition for its age as well. If we start with the offside front tyre. Treadwise A, looking at around 4mm of tread. Take a look at the uh, offside front alloy now. Very nice condition, no signs of any curbing at all. A couple of light scratches on the alloy, but other than that, it's all in good order. Taking a look down the offside of the vehicle, can't see any signs of any dinks, dents, or any damage at all to the side of the car. Apart from that, you've just got a few light scratches. See a light scratch there just on the uh, offside front arch. And as we move down here, a couple of stone chips to the mirror caps. See a bit of a bit of a chip in the mirror cap there, and some light stone chips to the aluminium finish. Looking at the driver's door, very nice condition. Take a look at the bottom there, beneath the door. A couple of light scratches, but should fetch out no problem. A little bit of a stone chip here and there as well, a few age-related marks um, to the middle of the door there. They should polish out no problem. Looking at the door edge here, again very nice condition, some very minor little marks there, they just require some touchings of paint. Apart from that though, in very nice condition. Taking a quick look at the roof now. Again, no signs of any dents or any damage to the roof, so that's great. And then moving towards the, uh, the offside rear quarter of the vehicle now, as we move down, again, great condition, no signs of any scratches. And then moving to the offside rear, you got around four to five mil of tread there as well. Taking a look at the offside from the rear alloy. Uh, we have got some minor little curbs here and there. And you can see some markings here on the inner of the wheel. I don't know if that is uh, marked or if that will come off. It doesn't look like any mark really. Um, some light scratches to the bottom as you can see. And then some scratches around the alloy as well. So I would recommend the refurb to this alloy. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle now. As you can see, very nice looking car. And then taking a look at the back. Great condition to the back of the vehicle. No signs of any dents or any damage at all. Yeah, I've got your rear parking sensors there as well. A couple of light scratches to the boot lid, but that's about it to be honest, and those should polish out as well. If I have a quick look in the boot, we'll open it by key just to show you that works. Do you get two sets of keys with the vehicle? As you can see, that opens automatically with the key. And you do get your spare wheel in there as well, which is great. But there we go, nice condition in the boot. Moving around to the near side of the vehicle. And take a look at that near side rear tyre. Again, you're looking at around 4mm of tread. And take a look at the near side rear alloy. Again, some very light curbs for the top there. Uh, you've got a few scratches here and there to the alloy but no real signs of any curbing at all. And then moving down to the near side, we do have a, a fingertip size dink towards the rear, which I'll show in a second. Apart from that though, no signs of any dents or any damage to the vehicle. Just show you this small dent in the car. As you can see, uh, towards the near side rear quarter, just before the arch. It's about fingertip size, but it is a good size to be honest. So just be aware of that. Apart from that though, no signs of any other damage. Uh, side of the uh, door there, the door edge is in nice condition. And this so is the passenger door as well, no marks there. Mirror caps in nice condition as well. And then moving towards the front tyre, you've got around 3mm of tread there. And then taking a look at the near side front alloy. Again, not bad condition at all, especially for its age. No signs of any curbing, but you can see I've got a few scratches to the alloy, so you might want to get it a refurb for that reason there. There you go, moving around to the front, you have got some stone chips to the near side front quarter here. And taking a look at the bonnet. Again, just a few stone chips really. Uh, you would expect it of a car this age to have a couple of stone chips here and there. So this require some touchings of paint, but not a great deal amount. And that's the same story with the front bumpers. A couple of stone chips, but no signs of any damage at all to the grills, etc. So very nice condition on the outside of the vehicle for its age. And then stepping inside. It's very nice cream full S5 leather seats, very sporty, great condition. Slight bit of wear into the holster there as you can see. A couple of light scratches and a little bit of wearing on the bottom there. But overall, nice condition 
all electric as well. And if we just fold this back, you see work works perfectly fine there. Look in the back, great condition. No signs of any damage at all, no rips, no tears. A little bit dirty, but with the go to Violet, it should fetch that out no problem. But real nice condition in the back. And then if we just have a look at that uh, front passenger seat, as you can see, it's spotless. A car like this is uh, well taken care of. We can see with the rest of the dashes, etc. Very clean and tidy. Steering wheel is in nice condition. And the same with the driver's door as well. Let's step inside the car, I can show you the mileage and things. Like I said, you do get two sets of keys with the vehicle, and if we just get it started. So you can hear a great sound there from the V8. 87,329 miles, so that's in a fair few miles. Service in 100 days there, as you can see. But uh, no symbols on the dash there you need to be aware of either. Just have a quick sound here of that sound. As you can see, sounds absolutely amazing. Multifunction steering wheel works perfectly fine, no problems there at all. Like I said, nice condition on the steering wheel as well. Looking at the setup here, it's uh, got your sat nav down here, which we'll just indicate that. So you can see that's no problem functioning that. You've got your radio and things, all functions very well, sounds great. As you can hear, you've got your CD changer there, air conditioning. You can see AC on and off, light indicating that it's on and off. No problems with any of the blowers at all either. You can see we'll turn that right up. No problems at all there. So that's great. Manual transmission, you can see all your controls here. Very nice condition on the centre console and it all works perfectly fine. Look at the documents now. We'll have a look at the V5. The car has had three owners. It does come with an MOT certificate. Turns October 14th, 2014, so uh, very soon, but not till next month. And then looking at the service history, we do have full partially franchise. Feel free to pause this any time to have a better look. First one at 18964, you've got 38 there. 49, you can see all these done at Audi. You've got 68 there. And they have Mr. Page. You can see your last one there at 78,000 miles. So it's done just over 10,000 miles ago, which is great. So plenty of service history with the car. But there we go, that's the 2008 Audi S5. And for a vehicle of its age, it's in very nice condition.